Today my dream came true. Today I walked on a red carpet with cameras in front of me flashing in my face and photographers saying, Kelly Kelly look here, Kelly Kelly no come here. I was keeping my composure even though I wanted to skip around like a little girl because I was so excited. Thank you, Creator, for another day. When we see good things, smell good things, say positive things, and hear good news. Heal my, my music is to heal people. I need to heal too. And making healing music heals me, and it heals people around me, and they need it. They need someone to let them know it's gonna be okay i remember the day someone told me a gun never thought something was ever wrong i said my no name is kelly amaya fraser and i, I grew up in sanikiloak nunavut it's a little island in the middle of hudson bay right near northern quebec when you grow up in a place where people have witnessed a lot of trauma and pain. You grew up having some scars too. The Canadian government forced my mother into a residential school. They ripped her out of the arms of her own mother. They were told not to speak in their language, Inuktitut. They were told not to talk anything about their culture. They were abused day and night. I will stay strong and hold on. It won't be too long till the storm passes. Then the rain dries, just like the tears in your eyes. Life can give you a surprise, bad and good. And in the hood, the pressure is high. I grew up as a teenager convincing my friends not to commit suicide. I grew up, even after my dad committed suicide with friends that came to me and said, I'm thinking these thoughts. And I would say, the worst thing to ever feel is losing someone you could have helped. I'm here to tell the younger people that there is hope, there is a better life tomorrow. <laughs> It's so important to do these workshops because these kids got to know, give them something to do, exercise their mind, inspire them. Now I want to make music that young people will listen to because they're the ones that are in pain. They're the ones that need strength. It's not their fault that our parents went through hardships and gave us some pain, passed down some pain. And I want to say, don't take it. Don't, it's not yours. That pain, it came from somewhere where that wasn't even fair. What the government did, that's not our fault. Now it's up to us to pick up the pieces and say, hey, if we want to get better, if we want a better life, we, we've got to start saying things are wrong. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Even though I wasn't suffering as badly as as maybe other people were, I felt their pain. I didn't want my people to feel pain, to suffer from the consequences of being forced into a lifestyle they didn't want. Leave us alone. Looking for a seal. Please leave us alone. Life as an Inuk is not like any other life in this world. We're people from the snow, we're Arctic people. It's important to protect our culture, protect our language. It's important to put it in our music. I want everyone to enjoy a different language, a different culture. I want especially Inuit to feel proud of listening to music that is mainstream but in their own language. I'm proud of being Inuk. I'm proud of where I come from. I'm proud of the resiliency my people have had for thousands of years and even when really bad things happen we're still here and we're we still have a strong culture and language and I'm here to preserve it. <laughs>